Hi, I'm Ellen with artsyprettyplants.com and today I'm going to show you how to make a cement sneaker planter. I made this just using cement and a sneaker and it's actually pretty easy. It's easier than it looks. It's a very quick project. It probably took me 20 to 30 minutes to do, not including curing time. I've got the materials listed below. And also, if you come to my website, I've got the full detailed tutorial there as well, step by step, as well as other tutorials for lots of cool projects, a lot of them cement. And please do me a favor and click subscribe below. I'm going to have a lot more videos coming out that you're not going to want to miss. So let's get started and make this cement sneaker planter. First remove the tongue of the sneaker. You may need to tug a little. Then with the power drill, drill holes for the plant drainage. Make sure you use a drill bit that's bigger than the marker or whatever tube shaped object you'll be using to insert into the holes. I don't know mathematically exactly how many drainage holes this should have, but I drilled four to be safe and so far the plant is doing really well. Please be careful not to hit your fingers with the drill. It's easy to do while holding the sneaker because it's such an awkward shape. I found it easiest to pull the drill in and out while drilling the holes. You may need to go back over the holes a couple of times to be able to get the markers to fit. Take the marker with the cap still on and push it through the bottom of the sneaker until most of the cap is in the sneaker. But make sure you leave enough of the cap sticking out so you'll be able to remove it later with pliers. You don't want it sticking out a lot because you'll want the sneaker to sit flat on the ground at times while you're working on it. Now mix the cement. Please note, the cement I mixed here was a little too thin. You should make it a little thicker than what you see here. It should be the consistency of a thick shake, so it's still somewhat pourable. The reason you don't want it too thin is because it'll be more likely to crack. If it does crack, the cracks will be minor and you can always patch them up. Pour the mix in the bottom of the sneaker and roll it around so it's coated on the bottom. Then just go ahead and scoop it up and slather it in and on the sneaker. Pat it around until all the fabric is covered, including the laces and the tongue. After you have the sneaker fully covered, go ahead with a paper towel and clean off the cement that is touching any rubber.
Then when it's cured, use pliers to remove the drainage caps. And I apologize, I forgot to record when I removed the caps, but they came out pretty easily. I just gave them a few twists and then pulled. Now go ahead and add some soil and add your plants. So yeah, that was pretty, pretty easy. Um, it's a lot of fun to do. Don't do what I did at that one point and make, make the mix too thin. Um, it's just a little bit easier. You don't have to necessarily go back over the planter a second time if, uh, if you get the, the consistency right. Um, this is another one that I made, the one that I made with the, the other shoes. So, I mean, these are, these, these are pretty fun to make. I hope you enjoyed this project and let me know if you've made it. I'd love to hear, I'd love to, love to hear how it was for you. And please click subscribe below. I've got more videos coming out and check out my cement balloon planter if you haven't seen that yet on YouTube. Thank you.